this is just another noob at a Guns N' Roses concert. Last Friday, I went to the Stade de France, which is a big stadium near Paris, to see the Guns N' Roses um, for their Not In This Lifetime tour. I was really, really stoked about this because that's a band that I love, and uh, I especially love the fact that they are reunited with uh, Slash and Duff. Uh, I really love them, so I prefer seeing them together. I bought some seats tickets. As you can see on the map, I was on the block S12 and I was on the second row. I didn't go for S7 or S8, uh, which were basically too close of the, uh, of the side of the scene. I think that you don't see well the, the different screens and uh, I'm pretty sure that you may not see uh, even the drummer. So that was uh, not a choice for me. Uh, why did I go for seats? Some of the people I was with uh, didn't want to go to the uh, to the grass in front of the stage. Uh, they were not tall enough, I think, to uh, enjoy the uh, the show as they as they would want. So we decided to well to to, to choose this in order to have everyone enjoy the show. Um, as I still wanted to be as close as possible, I chose the uh, most expensive tickets, uh, which are called in France the uh, Golden Square tickets. Uh, so, is it worth it? Um, if you don't have any other choice, yes, it does, because you cannot be any closer if you have a seat, uh, as you can see on the videos that I filmed with only an iPhone, we are not that far, we don't have any delay uh, with the sound, but it's not perfect. As you can see, I am not able to see if Axel is correctly shaved or not, I'm really, really far, and I am not in front, uh, I'm not centered, in front of the stage so the sound is not perfect uh, you don't have the full stereo effect um, well it was not that bad but uh, yeah you can do better the thing that I'm not sure though is that is it due to the Stade de France or uh, is it due to the seats I was uh, seated in because that's the third time I went to the Stade de France. The first time was for ACDC. I was also seated, but very, very far. So we had a delay between what we saw and uh, what we were hearing. So, yeah, not that great. The band was uh, great, of course, but uh, yeah, the concert, uh, not that much. The second time it was Muse. I was on the grass, but pretty far. But... Um, uh, I was near the second sun system that was uh, in basically in the middle of the field, so the the, the sound experience was uh, was okay. Uh, I've already discussed about the Stade de France with some friends, and uh, apparently it's not the best place. Uh, I'm usually not convinced about stadium. It's I really prefer small venues or. Um, or even big venues, b but designed for for concerts. Here, um, yeah, a bit disappointed. Uh, I can only compare with an one another stadium, uh, which is the Parc des Princes, also in Paris. I saw Iron Maiden a few years back, and uh, from what I remember, the sound was really okay. So that's maybe only the Stade de France. Uh, I would be I would be really interested in your experience, guys. If you have seen uh, other stadiums, other concerts in stadiums. Anyway, is it worth it? Yes, especially if the band is giving everything. Here we had a three hours concert, uh, more than three hours actually. The band did the job. Uh, everyone was uh, playing well. As you can see, just here, Axel is running. Uh, slash is giving everything. 
it was it was really great if you have the chance and the opportunity go in front of the stage but if you can't yeah golden square ticket are really really worth it especially that here guns and roses was asking for a little bit more than uh, 120 euros i know that for some other artists such as madonna it can be a lot more expensive and you don't have a three hours concert so yeah I think that uh, I'm glad that I prefer Guns and Roses uh, than uh, other artists. Uh, anyway, uh, that's all for me. Just want to uh, give you my opinion and some image of uh, what you will see if you are in this seat for another concert. I hope this helps and uh, well, talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.